Hello, I'm Chris Schultz with HQ Kites, and I'm on the largest natural sand dune on the East Coast, Jockey's Ridge State Park, Nags Head, North Carolina. Today, we're here to talk about trainer kites. They are very popular, and there are many options available, including two-line, three-line, and water relaunchable versions. A trainer kite will help you work on the fundamental hand-eye coordination and muscle memory you'll need to fly larger kites. Not only are trainer kites the first step in learning how to control larger kiteboarding kites, they can be used as power kites in their own right. Imagine you're on a hard packed snow with a set of skis or on a blacktop with a longboard or even an SUP. A power kite can pull you and get you moving. Let's talk about some of the options and price points available. With trainer kites, your least expensive option is going to be a dual line kite. With HQ's line, the Flux is our least expensive model. It comes in three sizes, a 1.3, a 1.8, and a 2.2. Each comes with Dyneema line on a control bar. Some of the feature benefits, it has a minimal Dacron bridle that allows for a solid relaunch if you crash. The bridle is positioned fairly high on the wing so that when you do crash, it's easy enough to pull one line real hard and the kite will flip over and relaunch. The kite's really durable. Inside you'll find crossover bracing that adds a little more rigidity to the wing and prevents blowouts. The Flux is a perfect entry-level trainer kite that you can use and present to your kids or have one around to share the stoke with, with friends and family. The Rush is also a dual line kite. It comes in three sizes. There's a Rush 200, a Rush 250, and a Rush 300. The Rush is the dual line kite that includes a safety leash. And with a dual line kite, the leash attaches to the end of the leader line on the bar. So if you let go of the bar, the lines separate far enough to where the kite flags out and does a couple of lazy loops before touching down on the ground. The bridle on the Rush is a sewn Dyneema bridle and as you can see it's a fairly minimal bridle. It's positioned fairly high up on the wing so it allows super easy relaunch for a dual line kite. All you have to do is let one line go slack, pull really hard with the other and the kite will flip over on the ground and, and relaunch. Uh, these are the same type of sewn bridles that you'll see on the higher end power kites that we make. In addition, the new Rush series has a redesigned internal chamber system. You've got internal cross bracing now that adds a lot of durability to the kite. The Rush Dual Line series is perfect for training and fun flying with family, friends, or just kicking it in the park. With trainer kites, when you start looking at three line models, you actually are looking at more of a traction trainer kite. With the third line, you're getting added versatility, uh, like the ability to land the kite exactly where you want it to come down. Um, they generally are more controllable all around because of that extra third line. We're going to talk about the Rush 5 Pro series here. They come in three sizes. There's a Rush Pro 250, a 300, and a 350. Now the control lines are a little bit different on the sizes. The Rush Pro 250 and 300 come with 385 pound uh, control lines with a third line. And the Rush 350, which is a bit bigger, comes with 485 on colored lines, which is a little nicer. So the construction and the build on a Rush Pro is identical to a regular Rush 5. You get the minimal sewn Dyneema bridles. The addition of the third line makes a huge difference. So the third line connects through the center of the bar to a safety leash. If you decide to let go of the bar, it pulls the bottom out from under the kite and the kite will sink straight down from the sky. In most cases, it lands in a launch position. Uh, the beauty of that is you can put the kite down anywhere in the window that you choose. 
Now, if you're flying and you crash, you can just reach out, grab your third line control, and the kite will fly backwards and relaunch off the ground. As soon as you get the kite off the ground, turn your control bar one way or the other, the kite will flip around nose up, let go of that line, then you're flying straight up again. The Rush Pro also has the cross bracing reinforcements, and all the cells have been reinforced with a new system. So the Rush Pro is really a gateway to power kiting. It's really a traction trainer kite, especially in the larger Rush Pro 350 size. Next in the line of three-line trainer kites is the Hydra series. Uh, this is a Hydra 2 300, and these kites are really awesome. Uh, there's a 300, a 350, and an, a 420 size. And the greatest thing about these is you can relaunch them on water. So how does that work? There's a one-way valve that fills this wing. As you can see, uh, it's, it's a ram air kite, but all these cells are closed, so all the air has to come through this one channel. Uh, and inside here, <laughs> there's a, uh, a one-way valve. It's basically a tube sock that lets the air in if you crash really hard on the land or the water, the pressure inside forces that closed so water won't go rushing in. And most of the time when you're on the water and crashing, you're going down nose first. So what you do then is pull on that third line and the kite will back itself off the water, turn your bar, flip around, and you're back up in the air. Uh, the Hydra series has sewn Dyneema bridles, just like on all the rushes. You've got a third line system with a safety leash. In addition, you've got a spot here where you could actually connect a, a, a different leash, like a kiteboarding leash too, if you wanted to connect it to a harness. The third line system is a, a little bit different. It connects to uh, the trailing edge and pulls it together a little differently than on the rushes so that it comes down uh, in a straight reverse fashion a little bit better. If you do happen to get any water or debris like sand inside the sail, on the tips you've got little release valves. There's a channel that runs through the kite and it'll exit out here. If you want you could even deploy that little piece of fabric and that'll keep that channel open if you want to flush it. Once you're done, you flip the kite over with the zipper and you can let all the air out. Just like that. So that's the Hydra 2. They're awesome for training on the water. You can do body drags. Uh, my favorite thing is to play with it on an SUP. You know, in fairly light wind, you can keep the kite up and moving, and uh, you don't need as much power to pull your body up out of the water on an SUP. Uh, it's a great way to give somebody a taste of kiteboarding. And our last three-line trainer that we'll talk about is the Scout 3 series. So the Scouts are pretty much a borderline uh, trainer kite. Uh, they're really great entry-level traction kites, but if you need a light wind kite or you say go with a three meter scout, you're going to have a kite that's uh, pretty versatile. Not only can you learn how to fly and control uh, a bigger wing, you can actually use it for, for real traction afterward. They're made in three sizes. There's a three meter, a four meter, and a five meter scout. And that is measured in square meters, whereas most trainer kites are measured in span. So that's something to be aware of. The thing that makes the Scout so much better than most trainer kites is it has a crossover bridle system. Uh, with the introduction of some pulleys and um, some crossing on the bridle side, you get a turning radius that is really, really quick for a kite uh, this size. You won't really see that with most fixed bridle kites. Uh, the bar also comes with a fixed loop. So if you have a harness, uh, you can hook in. It's not a chicken loop. Uh, there's no depowering or sheeting with the kite, 
but you can like relieve your arms from all the pressure just by putting that loop around your harness. You'll also find that there are adjustments at the bridle, so you can uh, adjust how much uh, the turning radius is, and you can adjust how sensitive the third line is, which is this third line safety and the relaunching. Uh, that's more or less what some people will call the brake line. Uh, so, in addition, you do have a, uh, a loop here that you can hook uh, a kite harness leash onto. So, more simulate, you know, riding. And inside a scout, you'll see the same cross bracing that we have on the other rushes now. The bridle, of course, is sewn Dyneema. On the corners, on the tips, you've got a debris uh, release. There's a channel that runs along the trailing edge, so if you do get any sand or stones or uh, snow inside, you can flush it out on the tips. So the Scout is not only a kite that can be used for training, you can use it for traction in snow, land boards, or buggies. So pick up a trainer kite to help you get into the sport. Once you've mastered it, use it as a traction kite and share the stoke with family and friends. It never gets old.